hate to even put you in this position because you found out probably yeah. just a half hour ago or whatever about yeah. Coach Stud, but yeah. as a person who's watching the business of college football over the last month and a half or two months, I think you probably realize these things can happen, but regardless of that, what is just the feeling that you have right now and, you know, what are you looking to hear from Ryan Day today and, and yeah. moving forward? I was definitely disappointed to hear the news. You know, me and Coach Stud had a great relationship. And, uh, you know, I, I thought he was a good coach, but I'm not going to question Coach Day or anything like that because I know he, he, he runs the tradition and knows where the program has gone. So just knowing him and knowing the tradition that he's built, I know that he's done great and a great guy, you know, that fits the culture. And it's also a great line coach. So I'm, I, I'm definitely not worried about the new coach. Really. As you look ahead, what is it that you want out of an offensive line coach? I mean, I, not that you get to choose it, obviously, but, you know, if you had your pick and you're looking for an offensive line coach and a certain mentality or approach, what do, you, what do you guys want in the next guy? I would say someone that's uh, kind of a tough love kind of guy that will get on you, you know, um, make sure that you can be the best player you could be, but, you know, loves you at the same time and wants the best for you. So, uh, yeah. yeah, and I think Coach Day can definitely find someone like that. So. I'm going to assume there wasn't any – conversation with you about this in the last couple days leading up to it no I heard, not. you know it, when that happens is it is there a lesson you learned about college football or is it a um, is it all I, I'll tell you it definitely is I, I mean college football is a business so if, if the dudes aren't performing then something's got to change so I guess that just tells me that, that, that that's a big reason why I came to Ohio State it was for the um, it wasn't for a coach or anything now it's for the the culture for the community, for the tradition of the Ohio State Buckeyes. So that, that, that doesn't change the culture's coming up. Either, so. I guess that's an interesting point. I'm going to keep talking. Um, but, like, you look at Ohio State, they're a finalist for the Joe Moore Award, one of the best offensive lines in the country. But the standard is the standard, as they like to say. I mean, how do you guys now, moving forward, you know, uphold that? What is, what's the goal? Uh, just work every day and try to get better, you know. Um, like you said, they did, they did a good align, align this year, but the standard of Ohio State is just, it's just something different. So I, I'm going to work, and I know everyone else is going to work, just kind of uphold that standard and try to just get better next year. So. Obviously, Ryan Day was part of your recruitment. Tony Alford was a big part of your yeah, recruitment. Yeah. So it's not like you go in there not knowing anyone. Yeah. Um, but, you know, how does it change just the, the overall feeling as you get in, ready to move in here shortly? It's definitely going to be a, a, a little weird. You know, I'm, I'm going to move in on Sunday. I'm just not, not really – just the unsurety of not knowing a coach and – Stuff like that is, is, is definitely a little odd. So, but I, I, I definitely want to meet with the new coach and get to know him and just go from there. So, yeah, just just want to give you a chance to affirm you're still planning on getting there Sunday and you're still uh, you know committed to playing for Ohio State. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir.